Sinong idol mo na ano, football player? Messi po. Kasi po siya yung magaling sa buong mundo. In the small, odd-shaped space, 11-year-old Philip Domens would put in the work every morning to achieve his goal of being like Lionel Messi, Argentina's football superstar. It's quite uncommon for a Filipino kid to look up to a football star as an inspiration, but for Philip, he's determined that someday he will get that shot at being at par with his idol. Every day, Philip would walk the small space in their barangay in Pasig City, to practice. Unlike other kids his age playing the sport, Philip would practice his drills without the usual must-haves for training. Pero pa rin po, minsan nagdudulos po. Paano ka naglalaro? Taka pa po. Hindi ba masakit yung paa? Masakit ka rin naman. Knowing Philip's desire to play football, his parents are trying their best to give whatever they can to support him. His mother, Aling Hulita, works as a street sweeper to make ends meet. But even though she doesn't have enough to support him financially, she compensates this with her blessing for Philip's chosen sport. Sa ano po, sa, sa larangan po ng paglalaro niya, nagbago rin yung ugali. Philip is aware of their situation. No wonder even in his young age, he already sees football as more than a game. Makaalis siya? Makaalis siya? Oh, for kids like Philip, the lack of equipment, available facilities, and tournament exposure are now starting to change. More and more people are trying to help kids like him turn their dreams into reality. TM Football para sa Bayan is, is a program that allows, that enables underprivileged communities to enjoy the sport of football but also get access to different opportunities in education, good values formation, and opportunities for long-term employment and professional uh, sports inclusion. The first part is we help nurture street football communities. So we get into partnerships with football programs around the country whose objective is to help underprivileged communities so as we know, uh, sports is a, is a great bridge to provide values. So with that, we're able to keep underprivileged kids out of trouble. Um, we allow them to aspire for, for more and to hone talents that they have. We equip street football communities with various workshops and equipment in order to run their program well. The thrust of Green Archers United is to be able to promote football. So uh, we have a love for football and we want to be able to promote the sport. Globe's thrust is to be able to develop underprivileged uh, children through sports, right? Because of those two thrusts, uh, we make a great partnership. So what we, what we try to do is be active in football communities around the country. So while we have operations and programs in NCR, we also have in the football-rich provinces like Iloilo, Bacolod, Davao, and various others in, in northern Luzon. And as the program continues to reach nationwide, Philip's coach sees this as a good opportunity for him. This recommendation took Philip a step further to his dream, as he is now one of the players of PM Football Para Sa Bayan program. Stories like Philip's football dream are a testament that football continues to be alive in the Philippines. This encourages more help to pour in for the sport. What's important to us is to go beyond the business and really be of service to the nation. So we're all about good governance. So we just try to maximize this, the, the resources that we have and the network and the supply chain that we have to achieve positive social impact. 
Efforts such as these prove that we can never go wrong when we combine children and sports. Their continued development will help them as they grow old. And when kids succeed in sports, it also reflects our victory as well. So, renowned yung program ng FC Barcelona. They're a professional club um, that has also a youth program. So, uh, seryosong training to. This is as competitive as it can be. So, masaya kasi ang, yung, ang team ni Messi yung nag-training sa amin. The growing trend of football in the Philippines is slowly catching up with the immense popularity of basketball. If you ask any kid about their sports idols, they'll most certainly mention a basketball star. But that's not the case here in Negros Occidental, specifically in San Carlos City. Here, football reigns supreme as children enjoy spaces dedicated to the sport. This makes the location perfect for TM football para sa bayan. Talent is abundant in this part of the country where kids learn the sport at the same time as they start learning how to walk. Meet Cedric Balesteros and Stephanie Logustua. Their love for football has its roots right here in San Carlos City. Noon, hindi pa, wala pa akong talagang training na training. Yung tatay ko lang talaga nagtuturo sa akin. Pero ngayon, mayroon akong training. Halawan ko ang lolo ko na nagtuturo rin sa tunbos ko. Siya rin ang captain boy. Tapos, halawan ko rin ako. Ang, ang tatay ng lolo ko ay isa sa nag-introduce ng football sa San Carlos. Nahilig ako maglaro ng football ng grade 3 ako. Nakita ko po ito sa aking... Their talents were each then nurtured by their families as support became very natural. Football indeed runs in their veins. May nagpapatry out para Malaysia at saka Barcelona daw. At that time, si Sedi yata is 10 years old. Doon siya nagtry out sa Bacolod, sa Santa Maria. So noon, na-short play siya. Pero hindi siya nakuha. Sabi ko sa kanya, okay lang. Cedric's failure to make it to the program, however, did not stop him from taking another shot. The next opportunity came, all thanks to the encouragement of his father. Nagpa-try out yung ano, globe na nasa Center Mall. Sabi ko sa kanya, ito na. Baka ito nang para sa'yo. Sabi ko sa kanya, yun, nagpakita ang gila siya. Ako rin, tumitingin sa kanya, maganda naman performance niya. Sabi ko, may chance ha. At nakuha naman. Indeed, Cedric has the proper skills to play football. The support coming from the people around him is unwavering. But where do these kids need help then? The problem now is exposure. Where can these kids showcase their talents? TM Football Para Sa Bayan opens the opportunity for these kids to see the world. So, renowned yung program ng FC Barcelona. They're a professional club um, that has also a youth program. So, uh, seryosong training to. This is as competitive as it can be. Such a nice way to, uh, for the kids to transform. The trip to Spain proved to be a big boost to Cedric, not only to his game, but also to his life as a whole. Sobrang saya kasi ang, yung, ang team ni Messi yung nag-training sa amin. Pag pagaling ko ng Barcelona, ang dami ng opportunities na binigay sa akin. Binigyan siya ng scholarship ng Colegio de Santo Tomas Ricoletos. Salamat din ako sa school na may mutualas na sa anak ko. At uh, pinapakita naman ng anak ko na uh, ano, sa deserving. 13-year-old Stephanie also has the same story. Naisip ko po noon na gusto kong sumali sa mga higher na competition kasi Gusto ko ilabas ang talent ko. Pursigido talaga siyang mag-practice uh, kahit na pagod na siya sa pag-aaral dahil araw-araw talaga pagkatapos ng klase, pumupunta sila ng center mall, tsaka nag, ano, nagpa-practice. 
Stephanie's efforts definitely did not go to waste. Her hard work earned her a spot at the development program's batch of kids that was flown to Malaysia and Spain for training. Apart from the advanced training that she received, her talent in football got her a scholarship as a student athlete for Coleo Santo Tomas Recoletos in San Carlos City. Pero para sa apat na anak, siyempre isa lang ang nagtatrabaho, yung asawa ko lang. So parang hindi talaga sapat. Kaya nga, blessed talaga at saka ano, ka ng grateful talaga ako sa TM at saka sa Globe na uh, mayroon silang programa na ganito para sa mga less fortunate na kagaya ni Stephanie. Football remained the catalyst for these life-changing opportunities brought by the program for kids like Stephanie and Cedric. Their formation is guided by the synergy between the program and the school that took them in as varsity players. Oh, mas engaged. We also found that there's, there's also retention in school because they see the connection that if I'm good in my sport and I do well in school, then this is my current team. Uh, to get scholarships. And that's what happens to many of uh, the talented kids within our program. We saw the benefit of sports to a child. We invested in impact assessment to see what, what sports really does to children. So one level of engagement, uh, it allows uh, adults, coaches, and teachers to transfer knowledge na fully focused ang bata. If, if the child is very passionate in what they're doing, for example, it's football, or basketball, volleyball, then you can help, you can help them by instilling um, good values and lessons there. So you use, use the sport as a language to educate. The benefit of sports, especially to children, remain endless. It opens them to opportunities that bring them closer to the world and to the sport that they love. Hoping that one day, the ball takes them closer to their goal.